And now to a new development in that mysterious illness in children linked to COVID-19. The Washington State Department of Health, along with Snohomish and C Seattle King County health officials, confirmed two cases of the illness. The patients include a child younger than 10 in Snohomish County and a child between 10 and 19 years old from King County. Both are being treated at Seattle Children's Hospital. So far, these are the only cases reported in the state. Over 135 cases have now been reported in children across at least 19 states in Washington, D.C. Local health officials are working with the CDC to help identify symptoms in patients. They include fever, inflammation, rash, red eyes, or tongue and abdominal pain. The Department of Health recently asked all health care providers in the state to be on the lookout for cases and immediately report them. Starting today, people in Whatcom County must wear face masks in public if they can't maintain social distancing. The rule doesn't apply to children under two years old or people with physical disabilities or illnesses in which face coverings would not be safe. New at noon, President Trump is calling for governors to allow places of worship across the country to reopen this weekend. Speaking during a White House press conference just a short time ago, the president said he considers houses of worship essential. This comes as the CDC is still working to finalize guidelines to safely reopen churches. Here in Washington, Governor Inslee allowed drive-in religious services to resume in phase one of reopening. Today, the state approved four more counties to enter phase two of reopening. Adams County, Grays Harbor County, Lewis County, and Spokane County are getting the green light. Pacific, Grant, and Cowlitz counties got the go-ahead from the governor's office last night. This makes 14 counties now approved for phase two and 11 counties eligible to apply for a variance to do so. The long holiday weekend is here and some national forest lands in western Washington are reopening today. Campgrounds will stay closed while trailheads and other day use areas will start to open with some limits. Here's King 5's Amy Marino in Olympia. Well, today they're starting with this phased in approach to opening up parts of the Mount Baker Snoqualmie National Forest. Campgrounds are going to stay closed, but many of the trailheads and day use recreation areas, those can start opening up depending on the staff that they have. Now, some things are going to be different. Restrooms, those are going to stay closed, so you have to plan for that. And there's no garbage service, so you're going to have to pack out your garbage, and that includes pet waste. Now, you're also going to have to bring your own water, so they say you're really going to have to be self-sufficient. The Forest Service says many of the tasks they do at the sites to prepare them for visitors have been delayed, so the level of service you can expect depends on how many employees they have and if they can work safely. Keep in mind there will be some locations that are not accessible because they're still covered in snow or possibly they, they were damaged by weather during the winter months. They're doing their best to get all those things opened up. Now, we have all of this information for you on our website. If you text the word hike to 448-4545. We can send that all to you, including information about the state trails that are also open just in time for this holiday weekend. In Olympia, Amy Marino, King 5 News. Many communities are frustrated with the phased reopening. The mayors of Sumner and Bonnie Lake in Pierce County sent a joint letter to the governor asking him to let businesses in their smaller cities reopen. I've got a lot of feedback on that letter that a lot of folks are just happy that cities are fighting for their, their local e economy because these are a lot of mom pop stores, a lot of families. Neil Johnson and Bill Pugh say a one size fits all approach to counties doesn't work. The letter urges the governor to allow business owners to reopen when they feel it's safe. We reached out to the governor about the letter. A spokesperson told us at this time we are considering county variances only. We will respond to them directly with more information on why we think this is important to protect public health.